Hey guys, Nurking101 here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and just talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. Because I have a lot to say about this movie and none of it's good. Because I think Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be the worst Spider-Man movie of all time. Listen, hold the phone, hold the phone, and just hear me out and listen. So I have a few reasons to think Spider-Man No Way Home is going to suck. First of all, it's overhyped. People talk about this a lot. I actually made a video like two or three years ago about this with the anime and manga theory. One Piece, which I actually plan to make a new one of. I want to redo that video really badly, but I look at something like that and videos like that and I wonder, I ask the question, can hype kill something? Because there are plenty of properties throughout history. You just look at something like, hey, let's look at Game of Thrones. That have uh, terrible stories. In the end, they suck. They go downhill, and there's stuff like Game of Thrones, as I just mentioned, that it legitimately goes downhill. Like, it legitimately just gets really bad. But then there's stuff that creates so much hype that it just explodes, that just can't live up to its own hype. And I'm starting to think that maybe the situation with this movie, because people are worth, are, people are hyped for trailers. Like, I know people who are, like, a Twitter account dedicated to waiting for the trailer that just came out. And by the way, when I watch the trailer, I'm hyped. I'm like, look at how cool this looks. This looks great. But then afterward, my hype kind of just turns into, like, a... But there's no way it's going to live up to the hype. There is no way a movie is going to live up to the level of excitement we have for this movie. It, it's impossible. There's too much going on. There's too many expectations. Like, if Tobey Maguire isn't in the movie long enough, people will be mad. If Andrew Garfield isn't in the movie long enough, people will be mad. I don't... I think it may be critically successful, but I think, like, Batman vs. Superman, among fans, it may be panned. I think it's going to be a complete critical failure, but I think people are going in... In one of those situations, I think people are going in and they've already decided what the movie is going to be. They're like, and the movie will have this, and it will, and Garfield's gonna be in it, and it's like a live action fighter verse, and people are going in, and they're probably expecting one thing, and that's probably not what they're going to get, because Sony has not, because Sony's a terrible company, has allowed uh, the internet to do all the marketing and turn this movie into like an end game level event, crossover event, when that's not what it is. Like this, they they've turned end game, they turned this into an end game level crossover event. When I bet Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are in the movie for 10 minutes. Andrew Garfield may not even be in the movie. Like, people are like, he's definitely in it. I'm like, but is he? Because as far as I'm aware, nobody has actual, any actual physical proof that Toby and Andrew are in the movie. As far as I'm aware, there's no, like, physical evidence of that. Like, there are, like, leaks, but, like, until they're in a trailer that it hasn't ever been officially confirmed, we could be wrong. And, listen, that's unlikely. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are probably in it, but what if, what if they're not? How disappointing would the whole fandom be? I think the movie's overhyped. Also, personally, I'm sick of hearing about it. I'm starting to dislike the movie before I've even seen it. And, by the way, this is on me. This isn't a critical failure of the movie. Obviously, I haven't seen it, so I can't be critical of it. But I hear about it constantly. I'm sick of hearing about leaks. Like, I like, like, the fact that you, you can't avoid spoiler for this movie. It's physically impossible to do so. If you're on the internet, you can't. And I look at it, and I'm just like, I just want to go see the movie. I'm just making sure we're still recording. I'm trying a new recording setup that you haven't noticed. But I'm looking at this movie, and I'm just thinking to myself, I've heard so much about this movie, and I've seen people be more invested in the leaks than the movie, and I'm so sick of hearing about Spider-Man Far From Home, and Tobey Maguire, and Trailer Countdown, I'm so sick of hearing about it, it's like, stop! I don't want to hear, like, every time I go on Twitter, it's trending, like, literally, World War 3 could start, and Spider-Man, and Andrew Garfield would be trending on Twitter, 
because people are obsessed with this movie. And I'm at the point where I just don't care. I have friends who constantly call me to talk about it. And I'm like, whenever there's a leak or you know, I'm like, I don't care about leaks enough the Spider-Man movie. I, 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 I would have liked to have just gone and seen the movie in theater. Like, I would have liked to not know. Imagine if you didn't know Toby McGuire was in the movie and then he showed up. It would have been awesome. But people have basically seen the movie. Like, if all the leaks are true, why should I spend $20 to go see it? Everybody's already seen it. It's out there. And I think people in general, it's become, it's, I think it's oversaturated its place in online fandom. I think it's overhyped. To the point where I don't think it can live up to the hype. And I'm just sick of hearing about it. Will it probably be good? Yeah. I trust Marvel. Marvel Studios has, hasn't made a bad movie yet. And I haven't seen Eternals. But I'm sure Eternals is fantastic. But they haven't made a bad movie yet. And, uh, I'm waiting to see if they ever do that. They probably won't. They're, they're Marvel. But, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, can it live up to the hype? No. Do I care about it? Not really. Like, I cared about it at first. At first, I was like, this sounds like a good movie. I'm interested. And then I spent all of 2020 hearing about it. And then I saw people put more passion into Spider-Man No Way Home than they did to wearing masks and stopping and stopping the spread of like if we put the amount of passion into stopping the spread of COVID that fam put into 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 making Twitter accounts to count down to the release of a stupid trailer for a movie, we would cure. I mean, we have, we wouldn't have just stopped COVID. We would have cured. We would cure cancer. We would cure world hunger. And I'm not saying it's wrong to be super excited about things. I get super excited about things, and I obsess over them. But at a certain point, it's like, if I'm excited for a movie, you know what I do? I watch, like, One Piece Film Red, which I'm going to be recording a video about after this. Um, if I had to record a video, if I had to do something with One Piece Film Red, if I, like, if a leak came out, I wouldn't want to see a leak of that One Piece Film Red, probably. Depending on the leak, I'd probably avoid it. And I would probably just go, see the trailers, avoid all the spoilers, go in and see the movie. I wouldn't want, I especially wouldn't want it to trend on Twitter and to spoil me when I'm looking at news. I wouldn't want it on all my social media pages and to be blasted all over on YouTube. I wouldn't want to know. I just want, maybe I'm old fashioned. I just want to watch trailers, break down trailers, and go see movies. Like, what I loved about Endgame was that we knew nothing about it in the fighting. We knew nothing about Endgame. All we really had to go off of were a couple set pictures and trailers. And the trailers were incredibly vague. And I liked that I had to ask me speculate. Like, I like speculating, but at this point, I feel like I've just had the whole movie ruined for me by spoilers. Like, I don't want... To, I don't want to know about movies from leaks. All I really want to do is watch, like, a couple... like. Outside of teaser trail, outside of like thirty second teaser trailer to the Super Bowl, I just want to watch a movie. Like I just want to be like, okay, here's tra here's the trailer, here's the first trailer, here's the official trailer, here's the second trailer. They give away enough that we can have discussions and speculate, and then I want to go in and I want to see a movie. That's it. That's all. I don't want to know everything about the movie. Like, if there's a big reveal, like Tobey Maguire coming back in it, I'd rather see that in the movie and be surprised. And a certain point, it's like, if I know what's gonna happen in the movie, why would I see it? Like, because they charge, one, COVID, I don't wanna get, I don't really, I don't, I'm not really particularly looking forward to going to a movie theater because of COVID. I don't think it's a smart thing to do. I'm probably gonna do it for this movie. And I'm probably going to go see Eternal when I'm out in Long Island. I'm going to be going out to Long Island and, like, around Christmas. And I'll probably, if Eternal is still in theater, maybe I'll see it then. Maybe. Or maybe I'll see Hopefully Eternal will still be in theater. And hopefully I can see for Far From... And I'm going to see for Far From Home in the city the day it comes out. I'm going to see Far From Home day one. Not Far From Home, No Way Home. And I'll see Eternal in theaters in Long Island when I get the chance. But... Between COVID and the price of a movie ticket and food at the movie theater, it's like, why would I go see a movie if I've been spoiled on it online? Why would I pay 20 something dollars to get a ticket to a movie that I've already seen? 
I may not see it eventually, but I certainly know everything about it. Like, all the leaks and the spoiler. Like, maybe I'm old fashioned. But I just want to watch trailers, discuss trailers, and see the movie. I don't want to hear about the leaks or the room. I don't want to hear that rumor. I don't want to hear people on the internet who heard from some Instagram account that that Jesus Christ himself is coming back down from heaven to cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home. Because I'm like, no, that's B. That's not going to happen. Like, at this point, it's like, well, everybody's in this movie. Like, Robert Downey Jr. is going to come back and be in the movie. Oh, also, uh, Kevin Bacon's probably going to be in it. It's like, who cares? Who can't? Like, is Jesus Christ going to be in the movie? I don't want to know about him being in the movie. I don't care. I just want to go in and see a movie. Like, what? Like, normally the internet is at least kind of good about it. But this time, they're just spoiling it. They're just spoilers all along. Spoilers everywhere. It's like, stop spoiling movies. It's annoying. I don't care about this movie anymore. In fact, the movie frustrates me. If that's not clear in this video, it's a frustrating movie that I don't really want to... that I'm seeing out of curiosity and because, listen, I can do a video about it and I can get lots of views. I can do a Spider-Man No Way Home like vlog video where I'm going to like vlog it as I walk into the theater and do an immediate reaction. And maybe you'll see me being completely wrong. Or maybe I'll be maybe I'll enjoy it. I'll probably will. And I can do a reaction video and I can get a lot of views on that. Like there's a lot of stuff I can do with this movie to get views. Hell, why am I doing this video? I don't talk about superhero movies outside of reviews. I'm doing this for because it will get clicks. Like being legitimate here. I have something to say, and it will probably get views. Because it's Spider Man No Way Home. But I don't care. Like, I'm sorry, but the constant spoilers, the overhype, the rumors, oh my god. All the people who are like, Guys, I am 100% correct about what I am saying. I am telling you, Alec Baldwin and Kit Harrington are going to be playing talking monkeys that fight Spider-Man. In this movie. Also, don't forget that Ted, Republican Senator Ted Cruz uh, is going to have uh, going to open the movie with a speech uh, about why he loves airplanes. You see, because uh, airplanes are going to be in the movie, and Ted Cruz is going to show up and talk about airplanes. It's like what? Where? Like, where's my evidence of that? Well, you see, my sources told me that. My incredibly detailed sources that I won't tell you about. It's absurd. It's totally and completely absurd in every way, shape, or form. We need to stop. I love to just go back to the time when you're just throwing you a trailer comes out. You go on YouTube, you watch the trailer breakdown, and you don't have to worry about if I click on a video called... I don't want to have to worry about if I watch a video about... Spider-Man having a hundred spoiler videos and how Andrew Garfield is going to reply to grow as Garfield the Cat in Spider-Man. And, and Garfield the Cat and Tobey Maguire are going to have a fist fight over how much they hate Monday. Like, there's no evidence for half of these rumors. There isn't. It's just sources. But there's no actual evidence. And just people on sources. There's no evidence in the trailer. And people are, it, people are obsessed, and there's spoilers everywhere, leaks everywhere. I just want to watch trailers and go in and see a movie. Like, and have a normal movie-going experience. So, yeah, there, I haven't got a Nerd King 101 rant in a while, but this one's fun. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts and how excited you are, probably. Because I'm probably, in, like, in, like, the super mega minority right now. How excited you are for... Spider-Man, No Way Home, the greatest thing since, no, I think it's probably better than light bread. In fact, I have rumors, I have reason to believe, my sources say that John Watts is actually God in human form, and this is like God's gift to humanity for, for letting, this is like his way of, Spider-Man No Way Home is God's way of apologizing for COVID. That's what it is, you see. Because I'm probably in, like, the super mega minority right now for not liking this movie. 
and not wanting to see and not really caring about it anymore and being annoyed with everything going on with the rumors and this insane following. But whatever, tell me your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Leave the video if you like, if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this. Trying something a bit different this time, but if you liked it, please let me know. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Remember to check out my Twitter, which is linked in the description box as well. And you can also check out my PayPal, where you can support the channel if you want to see way more videos. See maybe more videos every week. Supporting the channel helps if I get donations of any kind. I can kind of... It helps me uh, put time into making more videos. Uh, I may eventually do a video explaining why I use PayPal and not a Patreon. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't really have the time right now. It's too... I, I need... It helps, obviously, uh, the donations help to making content, to producing better equipment, to getting better editing software. That all that, that all goes into stuff like that, and honestly, just having... It also helps me just make time to make these videos. But, obviously, because I have, I'm still so small, Patreon isn't really an option because I don't feel like I can offer you guys fair rewards for Patreon at the moment. I just don't feel like I can offer those because I don't think I can even offer early access. I guess I could offer the option to just donate on Patreon if you would like, but I don't think it's really a choice. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave it a like, check out my PayPal, and my Twitter, and all that. Uh, above all else, guys, have a great day. You can also donate to the Children's Tumor Foundation if you would like to help raise money for people with neurofibromatosis in the comments down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing off.